I often say that I'm the biggest sinner in the room. And I don't say that to make sinning a competitive sport by any means. I say it because it is true. As a priest of Jesus Christ, I should know better. I should be more on guard against temptations. I should put into practice what I preach. But at the end of the day, I'm human, just as we are all human. I have no superpowers, except for the great miracles the Lord accomplishes through me. But those aren't my powers. I'm just an instrument in the hands of the Lord. I'm nothing at the end of the day. I can only be as great as I allow the power of God to work in and through me. And that's true for all of us. Today's gospel is a powerful one. And it often gets overlooked because Jesus is God. We too often forget that Jesus is 100% human and 100% God. But he's not 200% of anything. He's both God and human at the same time. And just as you and I struggle with sin and temptation, Jesus had those very same struggles. Now it is true, uh, at the end of the day, he can't sin because he's a divine person, so he was able to fight through them, but he still had to fight. The struggle was still there, deep in his heart, as it is with all of us. We can all recall any struggle of fighting against sin. When that one co-worker is, who does nothing but gossip starts coming down the hall, and we tell ourselves, today I'm not going to engage in gossip, and we fight against that temptation. When we're bored, lying in bed, and various thoughts and feelings flood our mind and heart, we feel tempted to pick up our phone or our tablet, and hopefully we fight against it. When we walk through the kitchen and see the abundance of snacks, we fight against the temptation to overindulge. And let's not forget about those who struggle with the temptation to not eat so that our bodies can look a certain way. We can all think of our own sins and the struggle that exists inside of ourselves when we try to fight those temptations. Sometimes we win by allowing the power of Christ to help us because we can't do anything alone. And sometimes we lose and we give in. What we must remember, my sisters and brothers, is that Jesus felt those same temptations. And that's important to remember because as we're fighting them, Jesus is right there with us, offering us grace, fighting on our behalf to help us turn away from sin and remain faithful to the gospel. Our guardian angels are fighting to help us too. They do exist. Not just a little thing we tell preschoolers. Guardian angels are real. And they're fighting with and for you as well. But if we don't engage with them or trust that they're helping, we've already lost the battle. We need to rely completely on Christ to come to our aid and help us. We need to remember that Christ is not some far away and distant God who left us here on our own. He's here now in the Eucharist. He's present in our community of faith, and he's present in your families and among your friends, helping us through a myriad of ways to fight against temptation. Remember, God wants to be an intimate God who left heaven and came to earth. He walked our walk, talked our talk, and died our death so that just as he shared in our humanity, we might one day share in his divinity if we follow him. Jesus suffered just as we all suffer. 
And Almighty God is with us in our struggles. And he's with us in our suffering. We're never alone. But we need to let him in. And if we let him in, we will be victoriously triumphant. Because he is victoriously triumphant. Now, obviously, this is easier said than done. And as the biggest sinner in the room, I know that. And again, it's not a contest, but we're here to work on ourselves together. We are not a community of individuals working on ourselves by ourselves. We are the body of Christ. We're a family made up of many families. We're here to support each other, to pray for each other, to help each other grow in holiness together. We're here to inspire saints who will inspire saints to build the kingdom of God. 